trying this again, my friends. <laughs> Are we here? Is this thing on? Let's see. Are we really actually here? Okay, we got people joining me. I'm sorry, you guys. This has been chaos this afternoon trying to get the technology working, and I still am not 100% sure if we are going to be okay for the remainder of this program this afternoon, but I think that we should be. Let's see here. I'm going to hop on so I can see where everyone's joining me from. I'm going to give you guys a few more minutes to just hop back on. I'm sorry we got cut off. The internet kicked us off again. Um, but hopefully we are good to go this time around. Dun, 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 dun. Where are you guys watching from? If you want to let me know, that would be amazing. Yeah, you lost me. You lost me, all right. Will you pass me the laptop? I'm going to fire up my laptop because I'm not able to see your comments for some reason. Here on the Rhythmia page. So where is everybody watching from? Sunday, July the 7th, June. Ha! Huh? I just skipped a month. I just lost a whole month. Isn't that entertaining? It is not July. It is June the 7th. Do not adjust your sets. Do not panic. It is only June. It is not July. Okay, let's see here. So we've got this other video that we don't need. So I'm going to delete the one that we just tried to do because we just don't need it anymore. strange. What is happening? I'm going to call you guys up on my laptop. I'm sorry about this, you guys. Technical difficulties. As I was saying in my last video that just got kicked off, um, it's really hard for me to get this sorted out at home when I have no help and I have no reliable internet. <laughs> Pura Vida, man. It's Costa Rica. Costa Rica Pura Vida. Got my little baby girl, Kobe Grace, who's not so little, watching over from the peanut gallery. She is 10 months and one week old officially today, which is crazy, because that means we are so close to one to one year. I don't even know what to do. You might be able to hear her. She's, she's chomping on some broccoli. What are these things that I got her eating? Apple and broccoli snackers. They're like little rings that dissolve in her mouth and she loves them. So that's what she's chomping on right now. She just had some chicken with quinoa um, and she's loving life. They might go out for a swim. Her and Levi, my partner, he might have met through my Facebook lives in the past. So I'm trying to call you guys up here. Um, what are we doing today? One amazing easy recipe that I've decided to share with you guys today it is called black bean Meatballs, that's backwards to you guys because I have this camera on selfie mode so that I can see what I'm doing. But this is a, a, a plant-based, a very plant-based recipe. Um, and it is actually, we're not gonna use regular pasta for the noodles. Um, so I've whipped out one of my favorite appliances that I've stopped, I've stopped using for a time. I've just been too busy. Um, but I'm in the moving process. As you can see, if you did tune in last week, I've moved into a new house. This is our new kitchen. This new kitchen that requires a lot more maintenance because as you know, if you have open shelving, you must always keep it clean from dust and also keep it curated to look nice. And because I'm doing videos, I always have to make it look nice. So we've got all of our, our nice white and matching glassware out on display. We don't actually have any other glassware or plates and bowls. This is all we have. So we're lucky it all fits there. Um, what was I even saying? Oh yeah, so the appliance. I got out my old, my, my amazing machine that I forgot I even had because it was just sitting in the back corner at my counter at my old place. My mixer, my stand mixer, not just for mixing anymore, my friends, because you ha it has so many attachments. And I've shown you this attachment before in the past and I figured I would. Hi, we're back. Are we back? Where are we going? Did you hear me saying I'm gonna lose my shit? Because that's what I was saying when the video was paused. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. 
I don't even know if we're really live. Because <laughs> I can't see. I can't see anything. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't. When is Rhythmia going to reopen? Life will be so much easier once we've got life back to normal and we can have you guys with us at Rhythmia because we really miss you guys. We really miss having, you know, the ability to do what we do with a, a group of people. So hopefully the, all of this COVID stuff, I mean, obviously let's not, let's not hide anything. There's a lot going, a lot more than COVID going on in the world right now. And I myself am trying to do a lot of, of the work. We're doing a lot of research, a lot of reading up, a lot of study because of what's going on with, with, with the, you know, what happened with all of the unnecessary violence and deaths that have been happening, especially in our black community, obviously. So I am, before I want to speak to any of that at any length, I'm going to be doing a lot more deep inner work because I do come from um, a place of white privilege, just naturally what I was born into. And we have our daughter who has been born into this and we've been reading up a lot, trying to make sure that we bring her up in a way that is with much grace and awareness. Um, but I don't want to speak too much to it for risk of saying something wrong, which I know that I will because I'm not as educated as I should be in the anti-racism um, and just being more anti-racist. You know, I don't, I'm not racist in any stretch of the imagination, but I need to be more anti-racist and be more active in that. So that's all I'm going to say about that today, other than, you know, I, I love everyone and I want everyone to just know that none of us, especially here at Redmi, are being silent on this matter. Um, and it is, it's just a really, really sad time and a scary time because of everything that's happening. So without further ado, I'm going to, I'm going to flood your screen this afternoon with some food because I think we need some pleasure in the world considering what's, what's going on. So we're gonna be making some pasta, as I mentioned here today. Okay, so now I can see, we've got people hopping out. We have Hollis saying hello. Mary, Marie Skinner says, wow, something happened. Yeah, I know, we got lost. Marie is watching from Cali Spell, Montana. Jessica is saying, apparently Facebook did something today with their live streams, problems everywhere. Okay, good to know, because I was about to go and rip one into both of my two, and I have two different internet providers here. I was gonna go tear a strip. Maybe it's not just the internet, maybe it's Facebook. That would be better. That, that would be better. Better. It's not better. Better. Well, this is watching from Michigan. Juliet's watching from England. Deb is watching from South Carolina. Oliver from Germany. Juliet saying evening. Rima says she's watching from St. Pete, Florida. Hello, there's my mom. She says, sorry I'm late. Mom, you're not late. I was late. <laughs> like, what time is it? It's like 2.20 and I'm just finally getting my shit together over here. Deb says, I thought it was my internet. I was walking around the house trying to get signal. Well, it could be all of us. It could be all of our internet and Facebook Live. Maria says, poor thing. Sandy, Sandra says, I wonder how the internet is feeding me with this. I don't even watch remotely similar stuff. What's going on here? I don't know, Sandra. What, why are you here? You're here for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. So welcome. Abby says, hello, Meg from Ohio. George Bell says, hi from beautiful Stony Creek, Ontario. Okay, so we are, I can confirm that we are live. So why don't we get to it? <gasps> Kobe just... She's very excited. She's in her high chair with her hands like this right now. Just anticipating, waiting. You want to clap? Her latest thing, she's just learned how to clap. And she's 10 months and one week old. Yeah, clapping! Woohoo! And I'm sorry I can't show you that. I can't show you my baby right now because of new rules on YouTube. And these Facebook Live videos end up on the YouTube's channel. So, before we get started but with anything, I'm going to um, get to the, ba to the balls. I'm going to get to the balls of the matter here. We're making black bean meatballs. And I've got this uh, set up here today so I can, you know, you guys can see what I'm doing for the most part. So here I've got my food processor and this recipe is so, 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 so easy. You're going to make, you're going to want to make this. Um, don't, if you don't, you don't have to write down the ingredients. I mean, you're more than welcome to, but I'm going to be posting this recipe definitely on my blog um, in the very near future. This is a recipe that I have made for many um, yoga retreats. I used to be a retreat caterer. That's what I did for several years here in Costa Rica after I moved here in 2013 and I joined Rhythmia in 2016 until about the end of 2017 I was still doing a lot of retreat catering and that was usually yoga retreats so anywhere for you know five or six people from the US or Canada or the UK or anywhere in the world would come to Costa Rica to do yoga and surf for the week. Um, in a group environment, I would make their meals. Sometimes it was up to like 75 to 100 people I was feeding. So it was a really cool gig. Um, but I needed a lot of easy recipes that were relatively low cost in order to, to feed those kind of, of groups. So this is one of those and it was usually always quite a hit, quite a, quite a hit. So 
really really easy recipe. I'm gonna toss ingredients into my food processor to get the meat the the meat the blah, 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 the meat list meat going. So the main ingredient of these plant based um, meatballs or meatballs if you have if you will have you is black beans. So I've got about one cup here and about three quarter cup more that I'm just gonna toss into my food processor and that's the base. That's our plant based protein. So I want to get a, a nice meaty texture. The next thing I'm gonna add in is about a cup of rolled oats. So you could use gluten free. There's a lot of great gluten free free bland brands these days. I am exhausted. I think, and I don't know what happened. I had two. We bought a new espresso machine, and I had two espressos. And Levi had two espressos this morning. He's been having the jittery shakes. I've just been dumb, and it's like, it's like I had the massive high, and then I crashed because now I just feel dumb. So I apologize. I can't speak for a while. One cup of oats, one and three quarter cup black beans. I said you don't have to write this down. I'm going to be posting it, but you might as well write it down as we go along. What's next? Next, we're going to add in another. Uh, this is a binding agent. So the oats are going to help hold the balls together, as is this. This is ground flaxseed, about two tablespoons. I'm just going to toss that in. So, so easy, this recipe. Then I'm going to add in some flavoring. So what do I have for flavorings? I would say two to three garlic cloves minced. I have this pre-minced garlic clove and olive oil that I've been, you guys, if you've been watching, I've been trying to use up this jar of pre-minced garlic for weeks now. I use it every Sunday. I'm going to toss that in. It's about two tablespoons worth. Toss that in there. Black pepper and sea salt. I've got about a teaspoon of uh, a teaspoon of salt, Himalayan sea salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Really, really easy. More flavoring and more binding. Olive oil. I've got about two tablespoons. We can pour that in. Easy peasy. Another flavoring for these meatballs, tomato paste. Now this is an ingredient that I have had a lot of trouble finding in Costa Rica in the past, but I found uh, a great a a tetra pack of it today. So what I've done is I took out the little bit that I need for today. I put some in the fridge to use in the days coming up, and then I put a bunch in the freezer, and then I'll just scoop out from the freezer when I need it. Because you don't use a lot. That was probably about two tablespoons that I put in there. Then I'm gonna add in couple more flavor boosters. This here is vegan Parmesan. If you go back several weeks, I made this live on my Facebook video. This was a macadamia nut vegan Parmesan cheese. You could use regular real cheese, um, dairy-based Parmesan if you want, or sheep milk, goat milk Parmesan. This one is macadamia nuts, cashews, almonds, garlic powder, sea salt, and nutritional yeast. And that was, you know, a really great, we top it and put it on salads. I'm putting it right into these meatballs today. And then I'm gonna add in some, hey, Elle saying hi from Connecticut. This is a, 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 just an herb de Provence, an, an organic uh, herb blend. And I'm just putting that in there because I love it and it's gonna be delicious. So then I'm just gonna put this on the food processor and give it a good pulse mix. Scraping down as I go, I'm gonna grab a spatula. Scrape down the sides because I want this to combine really well. I want the oats to be broken up pretty well. I don't want any big chunks of oat, but I don't want it to be too much of like a turn into a, like a pureed hummus or something like that. <laughs> Process. Scrape down the sides. It's not sorry. Excuse me. Not a lot of liquid in here, so you, that's why I get in there with the spatula because that helps. That was your landlord that just texted. <laughs> I'm using Levi's phone today because my phones were not cooperating. They're all messed up. They either got baby slobber on the microphone or they've been screens and smashed, like you name it. My computers all have problems. So I'm using my partner Levi's phone and he keeps getting text messages and things. Well, well why? <laughs> so this isn't making much progress, but it will. Da, 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 da. Smells delicious. It smells really good. You can really smell the garlic and the herb. Da, 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 da. A little bit of chunky oat actually will give it a nice texture because we're gonna end up frying these balls afterwards. Um, so it's not gonna be really like you're not gonna get that toothsome oat texture if you have a few chunks left. television that's as far as we're gonna go I'm gonna dump this all into this big bowl here so that I don't want to deal with rolling my meatballs 
with it in this food processor because of the blades and everything. It's just not safe and I cut myself on the reg. So I'm just doing this for safety matters. Safety first. Oh, you know what I forgot? Silly, silly me. Like these would be pretty boring if I didn't add in my herbs. So I have some parsley and cilantro here that I had soaking. So I'm just going to get them out of the water. With this. And instead of processing them, I'm just going to finely mince them and toss them in. And that will be really, really great. So I'm not going to be too picky about the stems because the stems here on the on this cilantro is pretty thin. And we're going to be cooking these balls these balls anyway you with me guys how we doing here wilma says hi from scotland and i love it i got people talking back and forth jamie and george you, know, you guys were you guys you guys knew each other i'm not going to go any further than that privacy reasons but i think that you guys may have been in the same place at the same time <laughs> so this is uh about i don't know a half a cup of each parsley. I have curly parsley here and cilantro packed. I want lots of lots of green. And I'm just gonna mince this up because I want them, I don't want big honking leaves throughout my meatballs. And I'm just gonna add this into the mix and hand mix it with the best tools I have. Me manos. There we go. Good enough for TV, as we say, in the biz. <laughs> Scrape that in. I'm in a much better mood now. About 10 minutes ago, when this was not working out for me, I was kind of in a crank. Wasn't I, Levi? Yep. I was cussing and swearing and like. Urgh. We are, we're all entitled, and I apologize. I'm going to say, say this right now to Levi. Levi has been stressed out about some stuff, and I've been calling him on it saying. We have nothing to be stressed about. We should be so grateful for our life and everything that we have. And then here I am getting all stressed out about doing a Facebook Live video. So this is a public apology to you, Levi. <laughs> we can all get stressed out and it's not that big a deal. And, and I, need to, I need to better contain myself in these circumstances. But to be quite fair, I don't have a lot to do for work these days other than this Facebook Live that I need to be doing every Sunday and I just want to be able to show up for you guys and show up for Rhythmia and show up for Jerry and not have silly little things like internet problems standing in my way. I've got Arturo saying hi from Denmark. Holy smokes, we got, we're got we spanning the globe today. Maybe now that I'm in my new house I can finally get that Oh, I forgot one other thing. I was just looking at this mix. This is a, a medium red onion that I minced. And you don't have to do the saute um, part of this, but I sauteed it first. Always a bit better taste if you saute your onion first. So now I've got my sauteed onion in there with the herbs and the black bean. I love you, you make my day. You make my day, Marie. Deb says, LOL, that is what I've been saying all day. What is it, Deb? What was it? What is it that I said that you've been saying all day? Tell me. Fill me in. Chad says, hi, Meg from Georgia. Hey, Chad. Good to see you guys. How's everybody doing? How's everybody keeping, keeping safe through all of this crazy world happenings? I know a lot of places are reopening. Costa Rica has reopened and, you know, a lot of the, uh, slowly, slowly but surely, but we've actually just had a bit of a spike in cases again and Locally here in our town where we live, we just had two official cases confirmed. So that's kind of got me a little bit on edge. So I'm not going to leave the house for another couple of weeks. <laughs> but that's okay. I've got great internet. <laughs> okay, so look at that. So it's like a dough, right? And so now all we need to do is, Ray is right. Um, Ray is right? Ray is right. What does Ray say? I'm confused. Let's, Ray is right. I don't know. So I'm going to roll these into about one tablespoon size balls. Like you can measure it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to roll them like this. Now, there's a couple ways you could cook these. You could throw them on a baking sheet and bake them. When I was doing them from big groups, that's what I would do. It would just take less time. Um, make some drier before worn because you know, there's not a lot of fat in them. Um, but what I, my preferred method is to put them in the in a pan and, and fry them. 
You could do a two-step method. You could fry the outside to crisp them up and then put them in the oven. Um, I mean, everything is, in, especially if you pre-saute your onions, everything is cooked anyway, so you don't have to worry too much about, you know, it's not actually like a meat product or anything like that, so you don't have to worry too much about cooking it through. The other thing you could do is you could brown the outside in a frying pan like we're going to start today. Then you could pour your tomato sauce, if you're going to serve it with the tomato sauce, over top of them and continue cooking them in the sauce like you would with a regular meatball. That's a really great, a really great, great way to do it too. So I've got a few meatballs here. I'm just going to roll up and get my hands washed so I can get those frying up. I wonder if you guys could hear me swearing under my breath when the internet froze earlier. <laughs> I was like, oh, looking at Levi, I'm going to lose it. Oh my God. Okay. So I've got my pot, my pot, pan here. I've got some olive oil for here. Dun, dun, dun. And I'm just going to put in a generous glug because I want these balls to brown. So a generous glug of olive oil. If you guys watched last week, you see we are slowly eating through, these are the crackers that I made last Sunday, one of the types. We've eaten all of the cheese ones we ate that day. Um, we've eaten most of the seed ones, and these are the, the gluten-free yucca flour um, crackers we've been eating. We've been putting them in our soup uh, and things like that. So those are slowly getting eaten. So I've got my oil heating up here. I'm gonna just toss one of these in there to see. It's not quite sizzling yet, but that's okay. I'm going to put them in anyway because it's... Oh, there we go. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Marie says, I can't wait to do this. It's so easy, guys. It's just like one of the easiest things. Abby says, I'm doing well. I go back to work this week. I'm so excited to reschedule my trip to Rhythmia when the time is right. Autocorrect, autocorrect not Ray. Crazy is right. Ha, 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 ha. Crazy world we're living in. I can't wait for all of you guys to reschedule your trips to Rhythmia. You know, it feels like a lifetime ago that we were there the week that we had to announce we were closing and send the group. We had a group at Rhythmia and we had to send them home and it feels so long ago. Like I don't even, it's crazy. I forget what life is like working full time outside of the home and I miss it. I miss it tremendously. It's, it's much as it's been lovely being home with my family and my baby, I really wish, you know, with all my heart that we get to come back and do what we love to do with, with all of you guys very, very soon. So I've still got a lot of this left. I'm just gonna set it aside for now to show you the next process. So I've got these cooking away. I'm just gonna pay attention to them and give them a good flip every once in a while. I'm just checking right now. I want the, each side to brown, so I'm just kind of, right now, just kind of rolling them around the pan so they can get nice and coated in the, the olive oil. And I've got it on a pretty high heat. My range here goes from low simmer number two all the way up to number eight or high and I've got it on about a seven and a half right now because I want these to really brown up um, so you got to really pay attention so I'm giving these you know just shaking them around and you can see maybe they're already starting to get a little bit of a brown crust on them so that's really really great I'm going to show you my next amazing thing so what I've got already started here, I did this before we went live, are my noodles. What are my noodles here today? They are zoodles, aka zucchini noodles. Um, and I have this amazing, amazing tool that's going to show us how to do it. So you take my zucchini, I'm hoping you guys can see this. Sorry, i got to get the, the pieces in place. This is my favorite attachment ever. Can you guys see what's happening here? Can you see? Yes. And then, noodles! Can you see? Yeah, you can kind of see. So it's just an attachment that makes noodles out of anything. So that's enough for today. They make great big, like this noodle, look how long this is. Super long, a little bit long. So I'm gonna just get in there with my meatballs a little flip. They're pretty hardy. They don't really fall apart, which is really, really great about this recipe. I'm gonna get in there with my kitchen chairs and I'm just trimming up my noodles a little bit so they're not quite so long. If I'm gonna feed this to Kobe later, that's definitely a step that I need to do. So then, what I would do is grab a bowl. Put 
some of my noodles. Now you could put your tomato sauce right in with your meatballs, which I might do. I can hear, I was, someone's honking the horn, but it's actually my daughter's toy that I'm hearing. So I'm gonna take a couple of these out so that I can show you guys how beautiful they look when all this said and done. And I'm gonna put a bit of sauce in with these meatballs. And then I'm going to scrape it all. There's my spatula. So I've just heated up this already pre cooked tomato sauce. Dump it on here. So good. So, so good. Put my pan soaking in there. So delicious. Put a bit more sauce in there. Beautiful. A bada boom, bada delicious bing. That, what I just said, a bada boom, bada bing, was the part of, it was a jingle to an Italian chain restaurant that I grew up eating in Canada. A bada boom, bada bing. So that's my ode to my Italian food. So there we go, that's it, so easy. Now, these meatballs you can make, um, form them into the meatballs. They'll keep in the fridge in a tightly sealed container for about a week and they also freeze really well. I would, I would recommend that you cook them and then freeze them, um, but they're good in the, in the refrigerator uncooked, you know, and then you can freeze them or cook them when you're ready for them. So that is it. Marie Skinner says, I hate cranking. Is that a KitchenAid for the noodles? Yes, it is. It is. Um, and it's a great, a great little investment. It cost me about 120 bucks, but you can, like I've done apples, carrots, zucchini, like it beets, you know, give, spiralize your vegetables for, you know, a little bit more variety in your salads. You can also, you know, you know, there's the little hand spiralizers, or you can buy yourself one of these types of peelers that has the regular blade. And then this is the spiralizing bread blade that also makes noodles. I don't use that anymore since I got this machine. All right, my friends, that is all I have for you guys today. I apologize for all the technical difficulties. If there's anyone that you think might like this recipe, please share this video. I will be hosting the, the recipe um, maybe on my Instagram or on the, on the blog at some point um, with a picture of the finished product so you guys can see it better close up. If there's anything you'd like to see in these Facebook Lives in the future, please let me know. I will be continuing to do them from home over the course of the next month at least. Um, I would love to, to cater to some of your requests. I did... Uh, last week, my crack with the crackers one was a was a request. Let's see what other requests I had. Um, your request, I had some requests for sauces, gluten free breads and muffins, um, something, da, 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 and watermelon. Next week, I believe my focus is going to be watermelon recipes. So please tune in for that. In the meantime, have yourself a beautiful week. Take good care. Stay safe. I love you all. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.